testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Um, it's good to be back. It's been a while. Been gone. Been out of town. Um, WBC President Mauricio Suleiman says that they're not going to strip Jamal Jamal Charlo. I'm all over the place. Today. They're not going to strip Jamal Charlo uh, for not fighting. Actually getting in the ring and fighting, that's like so 90s. Who, who does that anymore? Um, We'll get into all that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. All right, let's get in. Uh, also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Let's get into today's show. Jamal Charlo, WBC champ. Um, it's not for... <clears throat> In almost two years, uh, but for WPC president, guys, it's late here. It, it's two o'clock in the morning in Texas. Uh, president said they're not going to strip him. That's not something they're going to do. That's something that they're, they're going to don't do. Um, he last fought June nineteenth against uh, Juan Montiel, um, and then before that, he fought in twenty twenty against Sergey Derevchenko. Um, so since the pandemic, um, he's fought twice. Against Zarevchenko, excellent performance. And then he fought against Montiel, good performance. He, he's fought well when he's fought. Uh, he just hasn't fought. That's been two years. Uh, WBC president says he's been through a lot. Well, these are self-inflicted wounds. He got the charges in the San Antonio restaurant when his brother, uh, Jamel, fought... Um, Well, when his brother Jamal fought Castano for the undisputed 154-pound title, um, and then he got into a family incident where the, he was arrested for assault, but those charges would not be pursued, and the book is closed on according to, I think it was late Charles D.A. Um, so we're moving on from that. So he should be cleared legally with all that nonsense, but he still hasn't fought. And he's really holding up the division. Now, that division has a regular champ uh, of Carlos Adames. Oh, he's the interim champ, actually. The WBC interim champ. I shouldn't say regular. He's the WBC interim champ. You could upgrade him to regular champ. Or what you have in the rest of the, the, the ratings, is number one is Golovkin, who is vacating both left and right. So I, I don't think he would fight. Number two is Mungia, and you could put Mungia in with Adames for that interim belt and then have the winner face Charlo. Or, but th what I'm saying is that he's really holding up the division here. Um, and, and, and they said they're not going to take his belt just because he doesn't defend it, which is interesting to me. I, I don't, you know, they're not going to take the belt they gave from they gave him, right? Remember, yeah, he was the interim champ. Um, going all the way back um, to Hugo Centennial, and this is 2018. So this is five years he's had this belt, right? So if he won it against Centennial, he's defended against Korobov, Brandon Adams, guys, Dennis Hogan, Sergey Derevchenko, who then became Actually, Brandon Adams was what became the world title, right? Um, Hogan, Derevchenko, and, and this is the last five years now. I mean, this is his resume, and they're not going to take the belt from him. They're not going to make him fight. So he's just in a position here where he can really do no wrong. Um, you know, they should either make him fight the interim champ, which is Adames, or make him fight Mungia. Um, what they should do is make Mungia, call Mungia 
versus Golovkin and call Adames versus Charlo and then have the winners face off. Now, Golovkin's not going to take that. And if you go down their ranking, somehow uh, the, the guy that's ranked third, again, is Derevchenko, who's now 14-4. and four. Uh, he, he lost a competitive fight to uh, Adames, close fight, good fight. Um, that was back in 2021, which is a year and a half ago already. Um, and the only win he had since then was Joshua Conley. And somehow, by beating Conley, who I've never heard of, if you guys ever heard of Joshua Conley, uh, that was in July uh, of, of last year. Uh, and that was on the uh, Danny Garcia with Jose Benavides card. That was caught with uh, Gary Antoine Russell and, and Francis Bartholomew, if you guys remember that card. Uh, Adam Quinaki lost on that card. Um, but that was the last time he fought, and he, and he fought a guy that no one cared about. And because of that, he's ranked third. So you could do that. You could do Mungia versus Derevchenko, right, because Glufkin's not going to fight. And then have the winner of that face, the winner of Adamas and Charlo. But they're just keeping Charlo on the sidelines. And I, I don't understand why, right? Like, they, they, they gave him the, the world title, right? But they're not going to give Adamas the world title. And if you remember, they gave him the world title because Canelo wasn't defending it. Well, Charlo's not defending it now. So why don't you give it to Adamas? Charlo's got, and Charlo is one of my favorite fighters. I, I think Charlo is an extremely gifted fighter. I think Charlo, if he ever fought, could be the best guy at 160 pounds. I think at 168, he could make a lot of noise. But I, I do think at 160, with his size, I, I, I think he could go up and down this division. And it's not the world's best division. He could dominate this division. You know, you, you look at the same division, it's not great. So, you know, You know, the next best guy really is Adamez. There are some they Laura. I, I don't know what we're doing with Gennady Golovkin, uh, but he could really run this division. He could unify these belts. Um, but I, it, it just seems like he's not interested in that. Uh, and he's not being pressured to fight, so, so why would he? He hasn't fought in two years. And not fighting in two years, he doesn't even have anything on the docket. It's not like okay, I, I I went through the stuff, and but now I have a fight scheduled for six weeks from now. He's got nothing. You know, there's this video servicing of him. There's video servicing of him back in the gym. Okay, well he hasn't fought in two years. So how far away are you? Is it another six months? Are we looking at you know October the, the fourth quarter? Or, like. What's the plan here? And there's no plan, and the division's being held up, and you got to do something, right? He, he, you know, I understand that PBC may be having issues and, and different things like that, and and funding, whatever. He doesn't fight anyone, and what's he? Thirty three years old now. He's, he's 33 years old. Is that right? He's 32, 33. And I mean, these are the names of the guys he fights. I mean, since he beat Trout and, and, and Julian Williams in 2016, that's seven years ago, he beat Sebastian Highland, Hugo Santanio Jr., Korobov, Brandon Adams, Dennis Hogan, Derevchenko, and Montiel. That's it. In seven years. I, I, you guys think that's acceptable? And, and he hasn't fought in two. Let me, I, I mean, we laugh at Demetrius Andre, right? Like, Demetrius Andre's resume over the last seven years is better than Jamal Charlo's. Why aren't we talking about that? And I, I think Jamal Charlo is one of the most gifted fighters I've seen. But, I mean, this is what he does. And now he has a fort in two years. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. What should WBC do? Should they strip him? Should they upgrade? Should they put him champion in a recess and make Adams the, the, the royal champ for the time being and then have the two of them fight? Should they have Adams fight him and 
then have uh, an eliminated between the, the top two ranked guys there who are willing to fight because I know Glufkin's one, he ain't gonna fight. So that would be leave Mongia and, and possibly Davinchenko. But these are kind of the options that we have at 160 pounds. But Mauricio Suleiman said he's not going to strip his belt just because he refuses to defend it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. It is all proceeds from that channel. Go to uh, Autism Research and Recovery. It is April 12th. 2023 from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet post story or video 3d boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring